Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to focus on how to import an external data into Google Colab. So there are three approaches where you can use to import your data. The first and the more easiest method is to mount your Google Drive because uh, Google Colab has an, has an option where you can able to mount your drive so that you can able to access all the contents in your Google Drive. So it's very easy and convenient because you can directly use your personal data for your uh, experiments. The second approach is like linking your GitHub repository. So this comes in handy when you're going to showcase your work to wider audience. The third approach is very straightforward where you can upload your data from your local drive to the Google Colab. We will see it one by one. So uh, let us go to Google Colab. So uh, we make sure that you are actually logged into your Google account. That's very important because in this way you can able to easily mount your uh, Google Drive. So in order to uh, mount your Google Drive, all you want to do is uh, go to this particular area in the folder section. So once I click that, here you can see it is being connected to a local, I mean to a runtime right now. So it, it gets uh, connected to a system as we know already. So you can see uh, we have some samples, some sample data which is given by Google Colab. So if you wish to use your own private data, there is an option here like Mount Drive. So if you click it out, it will it will ask for an option whether to uh, connect to the Google Drive or not. So if you, if you click connect to Google Drive, it will automatically uh, connect your uh, I mean drive here. So you can just uh, give a refresh here. Yes, you can see the drive contents are available inside. So inside my drive, I have just one image uh, which I've uploaded recently. So I'm going to access this uh, image uh, into picture. So in order to, I mean, uh, to showcase the output, I'm going to, uh, let's say, I'm going to use the OpenCV function to read an image and to display it out. So since uh, CV2 has an option, uh, I mean, uh, as an option to display image by using the command cv2.im show but in google colab you can't do that because uh, since it's an ipython notebook i mean uh, google colab has given a patchwork where you can use the actual functionality of cv2.im show so that's what we are going to import here okay so we are importing open cv and we are going to import the google colab uh, patchwork for cv2im show so i'm going to run it right now once it is done, you can see this is the path which I have given here. Okay, so here you can see I have given uh, uh, content. This should this is a mandatory path. Okay, after which you can follow the uh, the actual directory path. You can see drive slash my drive slash ms dot jpg. So okay, so I am just going to read the image. Now I am going to show the image just like that. So you can see the output right away. So yes, this is the output which I am trying to show. So I have read an image and I am displaying it right now. Okay, so the second method which I already told you is like using the uh, uh, GitHub repository. So all you want to do is use your uh, GitHub repository link. Let's say you go, to, I mean, let me go to my uh, GitHub repository. So if I want to clone this particular uh, repository, uh, just go here and copy this path. Copy this path, go here and just type it out with HTTPS. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to paste it out. So I can directly uh, like run this particular script like git clone like like we already like we always do uh, to clone our github repository right so that's the thing which i'm doing it right now so it, it will clone automatically as you can see i have cloned the machine learning repository uh, from my github account you can see this particular folder is appearing so if it is not appearing just try to click refresh so that it will automatically refresh things out to show the latest updates so as usual uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to read a folder that contains some list of images okay so which is somewhere inside this uh, open cv uh, images so i do have uh, some uh, Sorry, uh, will let me go to face detection. This will have list, list of images. So you can see there are like three images which I'm going to showcase it right now. So for this, I'm going to use IMUtils, uh, where I have this function known as paths, using which I can able to uh, go into uh, images one by one. So I'm just mentioning the image path here, and then I'm going to use a function uh, uh, path start list images. Using this function, I could able to uh, get the list of images which is present inside that particular folder. I'm going to sort it out. I'm going to make it as a list, and I'm going to enumerate it one by one. So I'm going to use the command frame is equal to cv2 dot im read of the particular path and I'm going to show the image right now. Okay, so so let me uh, import the im utils and then let me run it out right away. So you could see like uh, since it has three images, it is showing images one by one. Yes. So Messi, MS Dhoni, and then uh, your Barack Obama. So this is another way of uh, importing your external data. Yes. 
using the same approach you can import any data you want it's not only for images you can also import your csv files or a text file or whatsoever so maybe in order to understand how to import your csv file i'm just going to uh, use my pandas library so where uh, i don't want this so uh, where uh, you can see i just given a path let's say um, yes inside machine learning uh, there is a folder named iris. I'm going to load this particular CSV file. So I'm going to use the command pd dot read underscore CSV and the path to my CSV file. And I want to just print the uh, the first uh, few portions of my uh, CSV file to see whether it is actually reading it right, right or wrong. So this is how you can uh, able to I mean uh, use your data directly. So there is also another approach uh, which I already told you by uploading your image directly like this. Okay, so you can just click this button. And you can go for anywhere you want. So I'm just going to open this one. Okay, so obviously it is like reminding us that it will be deleted uh, once you I mean come out of this uh, runtime. So I've got this banner.jpg. So let me uh, right away uh, data personal. So cv2 dot I'm show I mean I'm read. I'm going to read this particular image. So directly I can uh, type in this uh, word banner.jpg. You, you don't want to go to any uh, other places because it is already outside this particular directory. So I can direct, directly read it out. cv2 underscore I am show of data. So I'm going to run it out. Okay, so there's a small mistake. It is dot png. So it is giving us a error. So this is how you can able to uh, utilize, uh, I mean, uh, utilize these three options to import your external data into uh, Google Colab. So one more uh, problem which people come across is like when they try to import, I mean, uh, your or your Google Drive, you might also get this kind of an option. Let's say when I'm going to mount it out, uh, it will ask for authorization. Okay, so let me go for a different uh, account right now. Okay, so once it gets you your, once you get the authorization you you will be like automatically be mounted or sometimes i mean uh, you might get a snippet like let's say uh, mount your google drive something like that so if you get a snippet like that uh, you could uh, i mean run that and you can uh, how to say uh, get a get a confirmation code using that this also will be mounted because previously Google Colab was doing like that. But right now, I mean, once you just click this button, it will automatically ask for authentication. Once the authentication is given, you will be, uh, I mean, um, you, you can able to mount the entire drive, uh, I mean, into your Google Colab. So hope you like it. If you like this video, please do uh, give a like and share it to your friends. Thank you.